please. It'll all be over soon. Please, please don't. No, no, no. Take a deep breath. Because it's going to be last. Okay? Oh, get away from me! rapid and shallow. Let's get her out of here. Um, is she going to be okay? Yeah, we're going to be right behind you. She attacked me. I had no choice. I'm very proud of you, Annie, for fighting back and not letting her win. But she almost did win. If you hadn't come in, I... Uh, don't leave me, please. I won't. I won't. I won't go anywhere. I'm scared. It's all right. It's going to be okay. How do you know that? Because I'll always protect you. No matter what. What do we got? 31-year-old female in respiratory distress, injected with unknown substance. She's a psychiatrist at Oak Haven. Her patient claimed it was poison. Could be a tranquilizer or a sedative. All right, let's get her set up for a tox screen. Make sure there's enough naloxone and flumazenil on hand in case it is a narcotic. Let's go. I need some help here, please. Aiden, what happened? She's taken a blow to the head. She's lost a little bit of blood. She's dizzy, too. Let's get her on a stretcher. You saved me. No, you saved yourself. Now, stay with me. Don't close your eyes. Stay right here with me. Yeah. No, don't leave me. Don't leave. Don't get anywhere. It's okay. The dogs are going to take good care of you. Yes, there's nothing to be scared of, okay, Annie? You remember me. I'm Angie. You're safe here, Annie. All right, don't worry. Let's get her into cubicle four. I'll see you real soon. Aiden, you want to tell me what the hell is going on? I just came from Oak Haven, had a nice little chat with the administrator. Oh, well, then you'll know that Sinclair tried to kill Annie. What I know is Annie is about to be charged with another attempted murder. So that was you, the guy in the hoodie. The one I almost had a conversation with. The mysterious Mr. Stone, was no, I'm, it? I'm sorry that I didn't tell you what was going on, but I had to be there, Jesse. Why? What was pretending to be insane gonna get you, Aiden? Answers. Right? I wanted to see if Annie was crazy. And it didn't take me long to find out that she was. Okay, fine. But then you stayed. Because of the way that Sinclair was treating her, she was obsessed with proving that Annie was faking her insanity. Why? So that she would stand trial for Richie's death and be put away in prison for life. And so in your non-medical opinion, Annie wasn't faking it. That's right. And you think this highly educated top psychiatrist couldn't come to the same conclusion? Oh, she came to the same conclusion, all right. She just chose to ignore it. She wanted Annie to admit that she was of sound mind when she killed Richie. Even if she had to force it out of her. Force it how? By abusing her every chance she got. Sinclair taunted Annie. She put words in her mouth. She even slapped her around the face. You saw this? Annie's cell was right next to mine, so I could hear everything that went on in there. Through the grate and the wall. You seem... A little invested in all of this, eh? Jesse, we were both hurt by the same people. I didn't lose it, and he did. And I can understand why. And help me understand this. How do you know Sinclair is wrong? 
I mean, criminals fake insanity all the time to avoid prison. I'm sure Sinclair has seen this a lot in tons of patients. Yeah, but Annie's no ordinary patient. Annie was the woman that took Richie Novak away from Sinclair. Wait. You mean Sinclair and Richie Novak were lovers? She treated him years back. They had some big romance. <clears throat> Sinclair was never out to make Annie better. She was just out for payback. <laughs> I don't know, Aiden. This... <sighs> Annie has hurt so many people, including you. Now Sinclair is fighting for her life. But <sighs> that doesn't exactly scream innocent Annie, does it? So maybe we have to turn up the volume.